Over the course of Earth's history, more than 99.9% .9 of all species that have ever existed have become extinct. It is estimated that up to 50 billion species that once roamed our globe disappeared from the terrestrial stage some time ago. But is it really true in all cases? In fact, there are always people who claim to have seen animals that shouldn't even exist anymore. In today's video, you can find out what these unique reports are all about and which fascinating creatures, unfortunately, no longer belong to the natural face of the planet. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about one of the most shocking animals we've ever captured a photo of. Pterosaurs Is it a contemporary forgery, a modern fake, or is it proof that the mighty primeval lizards are still among us? A photo has been circulating on the internet for some time, showing us some American Civil War soldiers together with a killed pteranodon. The problem? The imposing pterosaurs have actually been extinct for 72 million years. There is no question that the dino in the pictures actually looks the way modern reconstruction shows us. If this really is a forgery from that time, the people pulling the strings would have done a great job, even though they probably didn't even know what the pterodactyl actually looked like. The first scientific description of the pterodon dates back to 1876. The military conflict between the northern and southern states raged again from 1861 to 1865. Another shot shows us how some men pose with another winged lizard. Allegedly created in 1890, the so-called Thunderbird is said to have appeared in a small village in Arizona and been shot. Thylacine whether it's the mighty saltwater crocodile, the mighty venomous island taipan, or the deadly Sydney funnel web spider, Australia's biodiversity is as frightening as it is impressive. However, given the myriad of creatures that roam down under, we should not forget that some animals disappeared from Australia over time, including the thylacine. The last living specimen of the largest predatory marsupials died in 1936. Since then, the thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian tiger, has been considered extinct. The animals which were around 60 centimeters high and weighed 19 kilograms presumably mainly hunted small kangaroos, possums, and rodents. The thylacine was once the largest marsupial to roam the earth, having lived around 4 million years ago up until the early 1900s. The last living thylacine was captured in 1933 near Tasmania, and the species has never been seen since. These animals were known to be shy and nocturnal, with an appearance like a dog. However, these animals also had characteristics of a kangaroo, as they had abdominal pouches and stiffened tails. The closest relative of a thylacine is believed to be a Tasmanian devil or a numbat. It is assumed that these animals died off after dogs took over their natural habitats and humans began to hunt them. The most interesting facts about these animals is that we have video footage of them from 1911, 1928, and 1933. This footage was filmed at various zoos before the animals died off completely. The thylacine certainly appears to have behaved very similarly to a dog, even though the two species are not related. Resurrecting the species has been posed by many scientists, considering that the Tasmanian devil is so genetically similar. However, no successful efforts have been made. Until the beginning of the 19th century, the thylacine was still widespread in Tasmania. However, after sheep were introduced to Australia, the predators soon gained a reputation as bloodthirsty beasts. Wrongly so, modern 3D simulations show that thylacine's jaws were actually too weak to tear down sheep, the animals that died back when they were probably due to feral dogs. However, since people knew nothing about these backgrounds, the thylacine was systematically hunted down and eventually exterminated. Attempts to save the species in the zoo were unsuccessful, 
In all that time, there was only one litter in captivity. Nevertheless, isolated sightings of the thylacine are still reported today. However, these cannot be proven unequivocally. In March 2017, two separate sightings in northern Queensland made headlines. And who knows, maybe some of these fascinating animals actually managed to defy the merciless hunt of humans. Java Tiger the Java tiger is one of the longest extinct creatures on our planet and is the subspecies of the tiger. He got his name from the Indonesian island of Java, on which he once had his home. Male Java tigers could be over 2 meters tall and weigh up to 140 kilograms, while female specimens were considerably smaller. Also, the Java tiger's paws were larger than those of other tiger species, indicating its enormous size. In most cases, mountainous and forested regions were the perfect habitats for the Java tiger, and the southeastern coast was also very heavily populated by them. When hunting in the wild, wild boar, deer, and bantig were often the prey of the tiger. After the population of Indonesia continued to grow, all habitats of the Java tiger were destroyed, so that over time it was pushed back and hardly any large habitats were available. So eventually, it went extinct. Tarpon The tarpon belongs to the horse species. More specifically, it has been proven that it was a mixture of Western European wild horses and today's domestic horse. Many people observed them on expeditions through Eastern Europe in the 18th century. Above all, the large head, pointed ears, gray fur, and a very bushy mane, as well as the light coloring of the belly, indicated a tarpon. In part, the appearance was also reminiscent of that of a classic donkey. As you can hardly imagine today, the tarpon roamed in large female herds led by stallions. Strict care was taken to ensure that no young male horses approached the group. The tarpon's diet was bales of hay found on local farms and gardens while roaming around. In addition, the tarpon lived in steppe and forest areas of what was then Eurasia. But there were also herds that could be found at higher altitudes and looked for food there. The advantage here was that the wind, even in snowy areas on the summit, ensured that the meadows were free and the tarpon therefore had enough food. Barbary Lion Native to North Africa, the Barbary lion is one of the largest modern subspecies of the imposing mane. Weighing up to 250 kilos, it was precisely that striking mane that gave the hunter his unmistakable appearance. The dark-colored hair stretched far over the shoulders, falling down the stomach like a kind of curtain. In fact, the animals were already used in the arenas of the ancient Romans, where they had to fight bloodthirsty battles against the Caspian tiger, which was also extinct. After the population in North Africa had already been dramatically reduced in the 18th and 19th centuries, the targeted eradication policy led to the final extinction of the Barbary tiger. The last official representative in the wild was to be shot in Morocco in 1920. Currently, some big cats in zoos are still identified as Barbary lions, but how pure the ancestry of these animals really is, is more than questionable. However, since the big cats were still seen as extinct decades after they were officially categorized and sometimes even shot, we could be dealing with the so-called Romeo error. In a nod to Shakespeare's classic Romeo and Juliet, premature classification overrode protections, eventually leading to the subspecies virtual disappearance. Pinta Giant Tortoise Finally, we also have the Pinta Giant Tortoise for you to introduce. Does the name Lonesome George mean anything to you? This was the last living specimen of the Pinta Giant Tortoise, which died in 2012. More than 300,000 giant tortoises once lived in the Galapagos Islands. However, by the 19th century, the population declined sharply after whalers and pirates hunted the turtle species for food. Some of the turtles could live up to 100 years and weigh up to 90 kilograms. The high and thick shell of this was very robust and arched, so that the turtles could be seen from afar. North African Hartebeest 
African hartebeest is the extinct nominate form of the hartebeest, with a tail up to 70 centimeters and a weight of up to 225 kilograms. It lived in the northern countries of Africa, such as Morocco, Libya, and Egypt, until the 19th century. For the Egyptians, it had a mythological meaning and was therefore very special as an animal, which is why horns of the North African hartebeest were also found in Abadea's grave. She once lived in large herds feeding on leaves, bark, and grass. Another special feature was that it could usually only be seen at cooler temperatures. She mostly refrained from hyenas or cheetahs, as they were her natural enemies. Japanese Sea Lion Furthermore, the Japanese sea lion is also extinct today. It lived near the coast of the Japan Sea in Korea, Japan, and generally in the Far East, where it is usually dark gray to dark brown to a total of 2.5 meters. It mostly reproduced on flat and sandy stretches of coast, where it was more and more eradicated by fishermen years later. Also, starting in the 19th century, the Japanese sea lion, which was also referred to as the Pacific Eared Seal, has a rather narrow face, soft light-colored whiskers, and large dark eyes. With its two lateral fins together with the hind fin, locomotion was possible at that time, which was also very uncomplicated in the water when hunting for fish and food. The soft and slightly fur-like thin skin allowed water to roll off the sides and dry quickly after each dive. Caspian Tiger the Caspian tiger is one of the largest living cats in the world and is closely related to the Siberian tiger. Its fur features narrow and fairly closely spaced stripes that were unmistakable in the wild, but at the same time still bear similarities to tigers in modern times. With its long belly and strong whiskers, it is very easy to recognize among other species. He once lived in the southwest of the Caucasus Mountains, as well as in Central Asia and Turkmenia. There they hunted his prey and looked out for wild boar and deer. Other mammals were not safe from the Caspian tiger either, as it hunted a variety of animals to survive. However, when it came to the Russian colonization in Turkestan, the Caspian tiger was gradually exterminated and persecuted. In addition, disasters such as fire and plague caused the entire species to become extinct. The Tacopa Pupfish Next, we introduce you to the Tacopa pupfish, which is an extinct species of Nevada desert fish. Measuring 1.5 centimeters in size, the predominantly blue and purple shimmering fish with its scales was at home in salty ponds. Primarily, the Tacopa hot springs, which had hot water up to 35 degrees centigrade, a little far from the direct source, belonged to the habitat of the Tacopa fish. The fish mostly fed on blue-green algae, which also had their home in the springs. Within a year, you could expect up to 10 new generations of the fish to be born in terms of reproduction. So you're probably wondering how the fish went extinct after giving birth to such large numbers of offspring. However, from 1940, the springs were canalized and bathhouses built, so that the springs became even warmer and the fish species were increasingly deprived of their habitat and could no longer survive in it. The Syrian Half Donkey Another extinct species is the Syrian half donkey. According to the name, this comes mainly from areas such as Syria, Palestine, and Iraq, and at the time had a light gray and pink coloring of the fur, which, however, tended towards gray with increasing age. The animal's ears were also dark gray at first and also turned to almost white hue with age. It is assumed that the Syrian donkey had many natural predators, such as lions, leopards, and wolves, which is why it fought very often for survival. However, when it was pushed back by Turkish, Bedouin, and British troops during the First World War, it died out more and more. Today we find many similar species of donkeys in zoos, but there is no longer a Syrian donkey to be found among them. The Eastern Puma the eastern puma has also been extinct since around 1938. The fascinating animal was once native to the eastern part of North America, where after many years it was also added to the endangered species list. The eastern cougar was particularly common in the area between the mouth of Rio Tocantins in the north and the mouth of the Rio de la Plata in the south. Because of its size, the puma had few natural enemies. 
Today, it is more likely that humans wiped out the puma by hunting it and deprived it of its natural habitat. Eastern cougars often fell victims to farmers, in particular, who wanted to protect their own animals. Even today, the puma is still described as a very shy cat that mostly avoids and flees from humans. What do you think about the presented animals and their sad fates? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on our post in the comments below. Would you like to become part of the community and never miss one of our videos again? Then click the subscribe button and activate the bell to stay up to date from now on. And with that, thanks for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.